Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about overload relays connected to a three phase induction motor controlled by PLC. So this is the wiring diagram for the ABU. So we have a programmable logic controller. We have start and stop push button connected to the input cards of a PLC. And I have a control relay number one and two. And in the power circuit, we have a contactor overload relay and the motor connected to it. So let us see how the circuit functions. So here, as I told you, I have a start push button and a stop push a stop push button. Initially, when I press the start push button, the current would start flowing to the terminal number two. And here, the stop push button is a NC type switch, so the current flow is available already in pin no, uh, terminal number one as well. Actually, the ladder for this particular concept will be look like this. So we will have the NO switch, NC switch, and a coil. And this NO switch will have a latch. So this is a start switch here. ST, yeah, RT start switch. And this is going to be here, which is used for stop. OK, so once you press the start push button here, so this terminal or this contact or this switch will be getting closed. So the current flow takes place like this. So that the relay coil here is getting energized so that it will latch here. So this is relay and the relay will get latched here. So if you remove the hand from the start push button, Still, the latching is available here so that the current flow will takes place through the latching contact and the relay coil is in on condition itself. So this means the relay coil here, the output contact is giving the input to the control relay number one. Like this. So when the control relay is getting power, it is getting energized so that the contact here will get closed. So when this contact is getting closed, now you can see the current flow would pass through this contact and it goes to the overload relay, normally closed contact, and it goes to the main contactor coil and it goes back like this. Because of this, current flow or a power flow, this main contactor is getting energized. When the main contactor is energized, the contacts here will get closed. Because of this, the current flow start flowing from the input side to output side of the contactor so that it reaches to the motor and the motor start running like this. This will be the normal operation of a motor circuit. So during overload condition, what happens? During overload, any one of this coil, overload coil, or two or three of this coil get overheated so that it opens up the circuit here. It opens up the circuit here like this. So here it is getting opened up so that no current flow would pass through this control circuit so that the main contactor is getting de-energized. So it is, when it is getting de-energized, the current flow from the contactor to the motor will be disturbed or it will be stopped. So the motor will go to the off state. On the other end, at the same time, what happens here, this NO contact of the overload relay is getting closed. Because of this action, the current flow now start flowing through the NO contact 
to the control relay number 2. During this time, now this contact will be getting closed. So when this contact is getting closed, the current flow is flowing through this and it will go back to the PLC input terminal number 3. With the help of this input, I can either display there is a overload condition or I can have a interlock system that the motor will not switch on until otherwise this problem is rectified or I can use this input for notification or any other logics. If you don't want to do any of this kind of work, so we can avoid this control relay number two and we can use only the NO contact to display or indicate with the indicator lamp. So this is how the three phase induction motor with DOL starter is achieved with the help of PLC and contactors and overload relay. So this is how it is getting interfaced. Hope it is clear and let us see some more applications in the future video. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment box.